Katie May was a successful model with spreads in Playboy and Sports Illustrated, plus a huge following on Instagram and Snapchat. But the 34-year-old woman died last week following a series of strokes. She was young and apparently healthy, so what happened? May's family told the gossip site TMZ that she had a torn carotid artery, according to her doctors. And the family said that it may have happened thanks to a fall she experienced two weeks prior. However, it's worth noting that she visited a chiropractor just hours prior to being rushed to the hospital, according to her own tweets, plus the word of a close friend of hers who was apparently with her. And according to that friend, a nurse treating May said that chiropractic-induced strokes happen all the time. I am not a doctor, and even if I was one, it would be incredibly unprofessional for me to state with any degree of certainty what actually happened in May's case. However, I can tell you what we know about the dangers of chiropractic treatment. First of all, it's worth noting that chiropractic was invented in the 19th century on the belief that absolutely every human disease is caused by misalignment of the spine. And so every single disease can be cured by adjusting the spine. So stomach problems, spinal adjustment. Uh, the flu, spinal adjustment. Cancer, let's just wiggle your spine around a little bit. They're cured. Needless to say, all of this is absolute bullshit. But unfortunately, many chiropractors, most according to the last survey I saw, still believe that. Some chiropractors don't believe in it, but still do spinal adjustments in order to cure any kind of backache, neckache, or sometimes even headaches. Unfortunately, even for those saner chiropractors, the evidence isn't really with them. According to the preponderance of data that we have, Chiropractic is no better than massage therapy when it comes to back aches. And when it comes to neck aches and headaches, the evidence shows us that chiropractic is pretty much just bullshit. And not only that, but it's very dangerous bullshit. Chiropractors in the U.S. aren't doctors, meaning they don't have to go to medical school before they call themselves chiropractors and offer to snap your neck for no benefit. And not only is there no benefit, but snapping your neck is incredibly dangerous. Dr. Edzard Ernst, who was formerly one of alternative medicine's biggest proponents, published a study in 2010 showing that the risk of actually dying from strokes due to chiropractic manipulation far outweighed whatever benefits they claim to have. So to sum up, chiropractic is a 19th century treatment that offers absolutely no benefit, but a slightly increased risk of death due to stroke. Did chiropractic kill Katie May? I honestly don't know, but I can say that there's enough evidence here that I really hope the family considers pursuing an investigation into the chiropractor who adjusted her neck just hours prior to her dying from a stroke. It's a high-profile case, and that might be just what we need to start finally convincing people to forego the dangerous quackery that is chiropractic.